Springs welcome you to the Walt Disney World Vacation Planner and invite you to... Be our guest, be our guest, put our magic to the test. Bring a heart that's full of wonder and let Disney do the rest. You're with friends, feel at ease, why we're only here to please. No one's gloomy or complaining, even grumpy's entertaining. Be our guest, be our guest, that's a personal request. Each of us will make a fuss to see you smile and be impressed. And your host, Mickey Mouse, says you're welcome at his house. For you, it's nothing but the very best. Get set to laugh and sing, we thought of everything. So be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Hey, my dear lady, nice to see you. Have a pleasant day. Enjoy your stay. Young fella, how are you? How long have you been here? This is our second week. Second week? Where are y'all from? Portsmouth, England. Oh, wonderful. Hey, wait a minute. Why don't we have someone else take a picture? You get in it. You make sure and say Mickey, hello to Mickey Mouse for me, okay? Magic days, fun-filled nights. Would you look at all the lights? They'll surprise your very eyes a million times with dazzling sights. You're a star, VIP. You're amazing what you see. A kingdom so exciting. There's no world that's more inviting. Get away from it all. on this magical tour of Walt Disney World. It's our pleasure to present all the things that make this the number one vacation destination on Earth. The Magic Kingdom Park, with land after land of fantasy and fun. The Disney Studio, the most popular movie and television studios in the world. Epcot Center, a vast show place of the future and a worldly community of the present. Beyond the three theme parks are two more huge water parks, Typhoon Lagoon and River Country. Discovery Island, a tropical retreat for rare and endangered species. Pleasure Island, an entire island of nightclubs. An incredible resort selection that places you wherever you want to be. From the South Seas to the Southeastern Seaboard. And caters to budget tastes that range from the economical to the regal. Here there is an endless array of recreation and entertainment options. The Walt Disney World Resort is 43 square miles big with every kind of vacation fun under the central Florida sun. Describing it all is a big, big challenge. The people who do it best are the Walt Disney World guests. People like you from all over the world. People who are realizing their vacation dream come true at the world's greatest resort. Looking at the world as it is right now, the Disney is kind of a wonderful place. It's kind of like all that's good in the world uh, is right here in one spot. This is paradise. You can't sum it up better than that. Let's go first to the Magic Kingdom Park. I like the magic in Disney World. Anything's possible here. Anything is possible here because fairy tales and fantasies are the reality. Happiness is the prevailing attitude. The mayor of this kingdom is a mouse. And fun is about the only thing he takes seriously. It begins on Main Street, USA, hometown America at the turn of the century, when the horseless carriage had just taken the road. Barbershop quartets were in vogue. And Steamboat Willie was just around the bend. Adventureland has you exploring everything from the home of Swiss Family Robinson to an enchanted tiki room and encountering some pretty unsavory creatures along the way. In Adventureland, we like uh, Jungle Cruise. We think that's real nice. Uh, it's very realistic and it's uh, exciting. There's uh, a lot of things you don't expect that pop up out of the water. One of my very favorites is Pirates of the Caribbean, and that's always a must for us. Frontierland has you rafting over to Tom Sawyer's Island, watching a live show, splashing and spiraling through incredible mountains. The biggest, wettest, 
cheapest of them all is Splash Mountain, a film ride through Br'er Rabbit's country that has you singing the songs of the South until suddenly you're dropped off. Characters come to life. Cinderella, Snow White, Goofy, Donald Duck, Pinocchio, Winnie the Pooh, and Tigger too. Fantasyland is where fairy tale dreams come true. When I used to be a kid, I loved going to Fantasyland because Dumbo the Flying Elephant was there. You flew up in an elephant, you know, you flew by his wings. <laughs> it was fun. And if you've never been on It's a Small World, you have to go. Uh, there are tons and tons of little dolls inside that sing in all different languages and they take you through the whole universality of the world it's a small world that girl it's a small small world we went on the teacups and, it, and they're all different colors it's at the mad hatter's tea party and you go on that and then uh, while i was on that with my mum my mum said to me stop whirling it now because i'm being sick Today we're in Mickey's Starland, and this is just great because the kids can see where Mickey Mouse lives. It's neat to see all his bed and his furniture. This is just a real fun day to start out with with the kids. They were really thrilled that he came up and he shook their, each one's hand and they ruffled their hair and signed the autograph books and hugged them all and my daughter cried. Tomorrowland has you soaring on star jets and sailing on dream flight. Sponsored by Delta Airlines, over a storybook perspective of aviation. Tomorrowland is filled with fun and excitement for everyone. Well, I always liked Tomorrowland. It was a lot of adventure. You could go to the Grand Prix Raceway and just drive your cars. We used to go. There was a bunch of us. We'd have about five of us in cars and try to race each other. And then Space Mountain. We just got off of Space Mountain. Scariest ride I've ever been on. You're in the dark, you're going round and round, up and down, looking at the stars. We almost went and hit the ceiling, I'm sure, one time. It's great, gotta ride it. If you love a parade, the Magic Kingdom features some of the world's greatest year-round. There's nothing like Disney parades. All the costumes are different, the music, it all goes together. It's wonderful. I've seen parades on TV. They're just parades. I mean, they have floats, they have bands, whatever. But Disney ones, they've got the feeling of it. It's, they're just unique. You won't find them anywhere else. They're wonderful. They're worth the trip. Every day, there's a magnificent Magic Kingdom parade. 
And when night rolls in, Spectro Magic rolls out. Spectro Magic is a mind-boggling triumph of music, magic, and lights. A powerful display of symphonic sounds and optical illusions that take classic Disney animation into a whole new dimension. And Fantasy in the Sky Fireworks is the ultimate topping to the most magical day of your life. The stars come out for all the excitement at Disney's newest theme park the most popular movie and television studios in the world. The Disney Studios is home to the world's greatest movies, the winners of more than 200 Academy Awards, and you experience them from every angle, behind the scenes, on soundstage, and on location. The Disney Studios plays an ongoing role in bringing real movies and television shows to life before your very eyes. On Hollywood Boulevard, you're the star of Tinseltown in its heyday along with a pretty ridiculous cast of would-bees and has-beens indicative of the era. From there, you're off for a ride into the most legendary scenes of the all-time greatest movies in history. Ever wonder how Indiana Jones pulls off all those incredible stunts in the movie? Here's where you'll see it all, live. My friends and I just came from seeing the Indiana Jones stunt show spectacular. It was so incredible. I happened to be one of the people chosen from the studio audience, and it was so good. I went backstage, I was dressed up in an Arab costume, and the director made everyone feel like they were really part of the cast. It was an incredible experience. She looked really good on stage. My favorite part was when the ball came after Indiana Jones. I thought he was going to get killed or something. It was really scary. My favorite part was when Indiana Jones and his girlfriend Marion, they were running from the German base, and the airplane exploded, and the, you could, I was sitting in the audience, you could totally feel the heat. It was like it was totally real. I loved it. And I think we, we're all going to see it again. Favorite? I would say it's the Indiana Jones stunt spectacular. The Muppets. The Muppets. The Muppets was pretty good, yeah. too. The yeah. Muppets. Welcome to Muppet Vision 3D. <laughs> the characters in the movie just come right out through the screen, right out in your face. They went out with a bang. <laughs> they uh, blew the whole theater up. We surrender! We surrender! If you like space adventure, it's a good idea to go and see the starters. It's based on Star Wars. Yeah, my friend and I just came out of the Star Tour ride, and I think it's great. It makes you feel like you're part of the movie. We're right there moving all over. The bad guy was shooting at us. The good guy was trying to help us. We went actually through the Death Star. I mean, it was unbelievable. I, I mean, we thought we were going to came out of the airplane. I mean, it was a tremendous ride. All the major television networks play a popular leading role at the Disney Studios. And you do, too. At Superstar Television opposite screen legends and classic shows like Bonanza, The Golden Girls, The Today Show, Disney's Wonderful World of Color, Late Night with David Letterman, Howdy Doody, and I Love Lucy. I got asked to be in Superstar Theater to play Ethel Mertz in I Love Lucy. Monday night at 9, it's I Love Lucy. All right, girls, now this is your last chance. If one piece of candy gets past you and into the packing room unwrapped, you're fired. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. ma'am. Let her roll! <laughs> I couldn't believe this. This is great. And I had a great time. It was crazy, though. All these chocolates kept going by, and I didn't know what to do, and this guy kept telling me what to do, and I, uh, it was fun. And my husband was out in the audience, and he had such a riot with it. You might be chosen to help add the sound effects to a monster show starring Martin Short, much to the hoots and howls of your viewing audience. I had to um, do the wind and the squeaky door, but he had to do a really exciting part. Yeah, there was a movie, and uh, it was Martin Short and Chevy Chase, and uh, it, was a, it was a scary movie, a haunted house scene, and um, we each had a different part. There were four of us, and it was really fun. We got to be involved uh, making sounds with the movie. 
Martin Short was the evil evil guy trying to wreck the salesman. Uh, I did this laugh as I'm. <laughs> The Art of Disney Animation is where you'll peek over the shoulders of 73 Disney artists at work, breathing life into classic features like The Little Mermaid, Academy Award-winning Beauty and the Beast, The Rescuers Down Under, and Aladdin. Uh, I never realized it took so many people to actually produce a cartoon. I was surprised at how many different colors go into one movie. It's so interesting to watch the way they edit things and make the, actually make the animation and the pictures come to life. The backside of the Disney Studio shows you how real movies come to life, including everything from show productions in progress to costumes, special effects, and post-production. I enjoyed seeing the front of the homes and then going around back and seeing the rear of what weren't homes. They were just facades. Empty Nest, The Golden Girl. The Disney Studios is the home of some very recognizable homes. You'll see them all on the backstage tour. We just got off the backstage tour. We saw costumes from see, Dick Tracy and Pretty woman. They had this. Yeah, this and woman. we saw um, Rod, Who Framed Roger Rabbit the costumes from that. Mary Poppins. Well, we rode on like a tram thing. There's a tram riding through this like it's like a tunnel, and you can see on the other side. On the other side, of you, you see the uh, the costumes, and then you move it right into the. Uh, we saw the makeup too to the Dick Tracy. Destruction of sets and stuff. That was that was great. We went through the canyon. I got all wet. We went through the storm. <laughs> but it felt good. It was nice and cool. This is where you discover that those storm-tossed boats you've seen on the big screen aren't everything they're splashed up to be. I got to be uh, in the uh, Captain Duck production and got pretty wet, but I had a good time. And you'll see that the BC in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is nothing more than some blue screen wizardry. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids Adventureland puts you right into the backyard sea, where you'll find your way home just like in the movie. The thing I like best here at the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids playground is the tunnels. You go in one place and you never know where you're going to come out. It's like being in the movie. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Cowabunga! Where else in the world are you going to run into Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael live and in person? No doubt about it. There's a bodacious bunch of fun to be had at the Disney Studios. Even the dining is strictly Hollywood. From Dinosaur Gerties to the magnificent Hollywood Brown Derby, you can go back in time to the 50s primetime themed cafe. He even sit in on a science fiction drive-in of sorts. And be sure to stick around for the Sorcery in the Sky fireworks. The thing I enjoy most is the Sorcery in the Sky, and it's, at the e it's in the evening. The fireworks spectacular. Awesome. It's it incredible. So and it's just, it's amazing. Mickey comes up at the very end. He's this giant inflatable balloon, and then he has fireworks shooting from his finger. It was just, was it, it was the best? So, it was awesome. Awesome. Oh my gosh, it was Three incredible. And it just, I can't wait to see my pictures. I hope they all turn out. Sorcery in the Sky is the perfect conclusion to the ultimate day at the movies. Epcot Center is a vast theme park for kids, young and old, presented in two incredible worlds. The first, future world, as you time traveling through ideas and innovations you never thought possible. It's one of the best things I've ever been to. Um, it's better than science museums all over the country, and I've been to a bunch of them, and this is really great. I've come back here a couple times, and this is really my favorite part. Over here, this is Spaceship Earth. This is one of the things you'll see when you first walk into the park, and it's great. Inside Spaceship Earth, you'll spiral through the history of communications and soar through star fields for an incredible view of the planet. Then you'll encounter Communicor, where you can touch the future and behold the backstage magic that makes Epcot Center run. 
This is our third time at Epcot Center, and each time we come, we always manage to hit the living seas. One of the reasons is because it's an excellent place to learn about the oceans. Uh, as you're waiting in line, there's a lot of history on the uh, technology of how we actually learn about the oceans with submersibles. And we find the children really enjoy all the sea life here. There's um, everything from very small, colorful tropical fish up to the manatees and sharks. We enjoy the ride under the seas. The land takes you on an amazing excursion through farming techniques past, present, and future, where vegetables grow on vines without benefit of soil. Plus, it introduces you to some pretty amazing treats. Comical, the kids loved it. We also learned a lot about nutrition and then we ate junk food. My favorite pavilion is the universe of energy, which is right behind us here. Um, what I like about it is you see the dinosaurs, and the greatest thing to me is that you get the smell of sulfur. It's absolutely terrific. Journey into imagination has Dreamfinder and his impish friend Figment whisking you through words, sounds, colors, and facts that lead you to new ideas and thoughts. After Figment and Dreamfinder, you're left to test your own skills of imagination or sit in on an out-of-this-world 3D adventure, Captain EO. I thought uh, Michael Jackson was excellent in Captain EO. Uh, he has some uh, dynamite moves out there. Uh, the 3D effect was excellent. The uh, creatures was coming right at you, you know. As soon as you put the glasses on, it seemed like, you know, you were in some place in time where uh, it, it was just magical and mystical. Wonders of Life is one big pavilion full of happy, healthy fun. You go inside the mixed-up mind of a 12-year-old. You're even reduced to the size of a blood cell and sent soaring through the human body. And we just got off this great ride, Body Wars. You get transported through a body, and you get you go through the bloodstream, and through the heart, and up through the brain, and then you have to get energy from the brain to get transported out, and it's a great ride, and we're going on it again. I'm standing in front of the Horizons Pavilion, which I just came out of. One of the things I liked about it was that it gives you a look at what's going on in the future, and it just gives me some ideas to take back with me about how I might be living, or my son, or my grandchildren one day, and the things, the places they'll live, the things they'll see, whether it's living in underwater, living in the desert, um, living in space. The world of motion moves you to laughter on a whimsical journey through the history of transportation, featuring everything from bicycles to balloons. Then it presents a sleek preview of the future. Across the lagoon from Future World is the other world of Epcot Center, World Showcase, a community of nations displaying their authentic architectures, eateries, gardens, shopping, entertainment, people, and cultures. At the American Adventure in the center of World Showcase, Mark Twain and Ben Franklin are legendary hosts. Surrounding are 10 other great nations, Germany, where you can oom pa pa to the traditional beat of a beer garden Oktoberfest year round. In France, you see a motion picture celebration of wondrous landmarks and artists. Outside the movie, Chefs de France and Bistro de Paris treat you to world famous cuisine. We've stopped by this wonderful Parisian cafe in the Epcot Center, which is uh, very authentic to France. We've visited France several times, and this is almost the, the exact touch. Japan gives you the grace and decorum of the exotic East in an art form. In Italy, you sample the overall flavor of Venice and taste the authentic food of Chef Alfredo di Roma himself. I hate the fettuccine Alfredo, it's very good. <laughs> and uh, nothing, I will tell to the Italian people to come over here because this is a very good place to see in Florida. In China, you'll pass through the ceremonial gate and feel like you've been transported into another dimension, in another time. Morocco. My favorite place I visited today was Morocco, due to the shopping. I'm a shopaholic, I love the leathers. 
Morocco is art, history, and authentic dining at its finest. Mexico has you sailing the rivers of time. My friends and I were in Mexico today and we saw a lot of cultural side of Mexico. Then they have a lot of history of Mexico in there, like um, they show um, pre-Columbian um, artifacts. They have a kind of mini museum in front just before you go into the ride. Oh, before the ride, you see a part of the restaurant they have there, and so it's kind of romantic. If, you, if you're a romantic couple, you want to go eat there, you can go eat there. In the United Kingdom, strolling and shopping is tops. You can take a stroll through the London Manicure Gardens, go into one of the bistros, and sit down, have something to drink. It's great. And then just move right on to the next country and change accents as you go. The heart and soul of Canada is captured in a spectacular Circle Vision 360 degree film. From snow capped mountains to mounted mountains, you are surrounded by vision upon vision of some of the world's most incredible scenery. Norway whisks you off to the high seas like a conquering Viking, until a couple of tricky trolls throw you off course. Norway is the best pavilion I've seen because, of course, I'm from Norway, so that's typical. Epcot Center is the best place to go. You get to travel all over the world in less than 24 hours and see every site that there is. We've had a fantastic day. We can't wait for the fireworks tonight. Illumination. A nighttime orchestration of lasers, music, fireworks, and lights more dazzling than anything you've ever seen. I've never seen anything like it. Every time the music was high, then the waterfall and everything went really, really, like everything was different. Like, I, you couldn't even imagine it. Like, it was better than any dream you could ever have. It was just brilliant. Beyond the Walt Disney World theme park, is a world filled with every kind of recreational fun under the central Florida sun. This is our fourth time at Disney, and every time we come down here, there's something new and different to do. Typhoon Lagoon is Disney's newest, biggest, steepest, deepest, most amazing, better than the beach water park. She's snorkeled two times now. This yeah. is our second day here. We've come here twice. The waves at the wave pool are just like massive. They, you you got to grab whatever you can. Whether it's somebody's leg. <laughs> They're awesome. The big waves are scary. It's a lot of fun. She couldn't handle it, though. No, because when you're standing there, it makes a big sound, and then all these waves come back, and it's scary. I ran the other way with this. Lady. What do you think about the Humonga Cowabunga? Oh, I liked it if I could keep my swimsuit on. <laughs> they got a real nice lazy river and you can just get on a tube and just be in there all you want. It's just nice. Walt Disney World is one of the nation's premier golf destinations. We just completed a round of golf at Disney Inn's Magnolia course. I recommend playing this course for a number of reasons. One, the Orlando climate is absolutely great golf weather. Two, the course is beautifully manicured. And three, you have to play the sixth hole where the bunker in front of the green is shaped like a Mickey Mouse. Well, I've enjoyed uh, having a chance to play golf over at the Bonnet Creek Club where they have two beautiful new courses. Osprey Ridge and Eagle Pines, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful layout over there. Golfers at Disney are challenged to choose from five magnificent courses. The Palm, the Magnolia, and the Lake Buena Vista. Plus the two newest, Osprey Ridge, designed by Tom Fazio, and Eagle Pine, designed by Pete Dye. Devoted to nighttime fun at Walt Disney World. Pleasure Island, featuring a variety of night spots, shops, restaurants, and a nightly street festival that has everyone dancing in the streets. It's just a place to go at night. I mean, everyone's here, uh, dancing, comedy. Anything you want to do, it's, it's right here. 
It's the only place you can celebrate New Year's Eve every single night. I gotta tell you, we just went over to the Adventure Club. It was fabulous. We got met at the door by the butler. He takes us into the library where the show begins. We've got all kinds of things going on. We've got spirits coming out of the boxes. We've got all kinds of ball going up. The kids loved it. It was hilarious. It was suspenseful. Was open 24 hours, we'd be here. If you don't stay inside the Walt Disney World Resort, you won't be getting the best possible Walt Disney World vacation. Staying in one of Disney's own resort hotels lets you make the most of the magic. You're right in the heart of all the fantasy and excitement. And complimentary boats, trams, shuttles, motor coaches, and monorails make getting around all part of the fun. When you're tired after a hard day and you're dragging around, you just come right back on the monorail and you're home. We have a choice of the monorail or the ferry. And the ferry is very convenient for us because it's right down a few steps from our front door. And they have easy access to all the parks. The buses are all coded. It's very easy to get around here. Accommodations are available year-round inside Walt Disney World. Dozens of unique resort hotels are available. You can pick and choose from every size, shape, theme, and price range. Disney's Grand Floridian Beach Resort Hotel exudes Victorian charm in its most regal form. I mean, it's really huge. It's a grand scale. It's old-looking. It's not that modern look about it. It's got... Uh, well, it's just super, that's all. I just feel like Scarlett O'Hara. <laughs> Without the long dress, really. It's just beautiful. The monorail fast forwards right into the futuristic concourse of Disney's contemporary resort hotel. It envelops you with all the energy and excitement of an ultra-modern city. The fun extends from the beach shores up 15 stories to the top of the world dinner show. The Luau Dinner Shows at Disney's Polynesian Resort Hotel also enjoy rave reviews. We just finished with Mickey's Tropical Review. What a show. What a pampered way of life. Imagine your greatest South Seas fantasy, and Disney's Polynesian Resort makes it all come true. It's like you're a thousand miles away, and yet you can beam into the fun anytime you please with the monorail right outside your door. This year we're staying at the Yacht Club and we like that and the kids like Storm Along Bay and we like the convenience of walking to Epcot. Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort Hotels blend like a grand watercolor painting into a nautical setting more magnificent than any. The beaches and connecting waterways here are almost a Disney attraction in their own right. If you enjoy spacious, quiet living among the trees, greens and fairways, it's Disney's Village Resort. Sizable accommodation choices range from one-bedroom suites and two- and three-bedroom villas to Grand Vista homes. It's just us right now, but when we were, when we had our children when they were younger, we stayed at the villas and we stayed at the tree houses, and they're nice for family because they're bigger, and they're very secluded, and there's animals. We've seen owls there and uh, peacocks and squirrels and rabbits and even armadillos. <laughs> The Disney Inn is a comfortable country retreat and a golfer's paradise, nestled between two championship courses near the Magic Kingdom. For the cost conscious, Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort Hotel is a magnificent island alternative. And we're at the Caribbean Beach Resort Hotel, and right now we're in the old Port Royale Marketplace. And we're staying in a section called Aruba. And uh, there's a pool in each one of the sections, as well as white sand beaches. We're staying at the Port Orleans because it's economical. It has a water slide and you get to slide down this dragon's tongue. <laughs> like Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, Disney's Port Orleans Resort Hotel with all its French Quarter flair caters beautifully to your pocketbook. So does Disney's Dixie Landings Resort Hotel. Yet you still enjoy the full range of southern hospitalities including charming well-appointed rooms. If roughing it in the woods is more your style, Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground is downright accommodating with rental homes and prime places to pitch your tent. 
Plus, it surrounds you with every kind of country fun imaginable. Like the hand clapping, knee slapping, all you can eat barbecue, hoop de doo musical dinner feast. Well, I'd certainly recommend, highly recommend the Hoop Dee Doo Review. That's been fantastic. Yeah. The kids have had a wonderful time. They've been clapping and dancing and had a terrific time. Well, I'd say definitely stay on the property, stay in one of the hotels or the campground. There are plenty of reasons to stay inside the Walt Disney World Resort. You're as close as you can get to the Disney theme parks. Your admission into the theme parks during operating hours is guaranteed. Your monorail, boat, and motor coach transportation is free. The whole world of resort recreation is open to you. Magical amenities like romantic boat rides and meals with the characters are available to you. You can call in advance for reservations to Disney restaurants and dinner shows. Special charge privileges are with you just about everywhere you go on the property. Disney child care programs are something the kids can really look forward to. Even your pets have their own special hotels to luxuriate in. The best tea times are reserved for Disney Resort guests. You'll enjoy Disney's world-famous brand of quality 24 hours a day. You'll be treated to the special, friendly service that only Disney cast members can offer. Rooms are available in all price ranges. For reservations to any of Disney's resort hotels, call 1-407-W-Disney or your travel agent.